Your Majesties, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for always returning. Trust you and yours are well, and you are loving yourself and others like always. Many thanks to all of you for the support to give to the channel. Thank you so much to our channel members, to our anonymous supporters, to all of you, my esteemed subscribers. You are all loved, celebrated, and appreciated. All right, we began um, some episodes of who we are and um, knowing thyself as a black king and queen you can check out the playlist on my channel um, you, you so that you could go through the video if you haven't gone through those episodes is a special episode for we as a melanated people to discover ourselves to know ourselves so you can check out that episode but today I bring you something something extraordinary all right uh from young pharaoh now i most of his arguments are arguments that he make out of the research he had done is not a blind argument he don't just come out to say things and these are facts these are facts but the truth is that uh, our brothers and sisters from the other parts will never agree to these facts because um, they will always want to make you feel like you are are you trying to create problem between races or you are promoting racism but that is not what the idea that's not the idea of young pharaoh at all these are facts now when i talk about intermarriages uh mixing all right uh okay yeah is love love does not know color um I fell in love, so what do you want me to do? I have to marry the love of my life. And um, we do these things as most of us, you know, while we're talking about, what's his name? Um, this Ghanaian guy who who went for this um, German, uh, no, this Belgian lady and claims that um, there were no blacks, there were no African women to take up the, the tax. They were all scared. They were afraid. All right. Now, tomorrow you might hear that he have a child from that woman, or maybe um, he decided to marry the woman, and they will have children. See, when we keep polluting our bloodline, we are the cause of our problem. We shouldn't look for for where the problem is coming from. It's right before us. We are the cause of our problems because we don't want to listen. All right, we look at ourselves as okay, we're just normal. You don't know that you've been in this life, there's something about you, your consciousness that was, that was tempered with, and so you think you are like other people. Why you are not? You are not, you are gods because you have the line, the bloodline of gods. So you mix yourself like this, you reduce. <laughs> anyway, let's listen to young Pharaoh. And it was a heated argument, like four against one, and he came out uh, victorious. And I just hope that um, as black people, we understand the game, we understand what is happening around us. Please tell me, what did I say about white people? Well, incorrect. again, it's not saying that I, I'm saying you need to apologize. But for example, you said white people have more like what chimpanzee DNA in them, okay, I believe you said earlier. Now can I pull out? Now can I pull out? A now, 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 now. I would, I would say Google ghost. Now wait, ghost wait, wait. Commented hey, DNA. Hey, uh, oh, Google go, it. Wait, share my screen. Let me share my screen because I'm, now I'm gonna go to Jeanette. Now I'm finna. Now I'm finna pull up. Jeanette, wait a minute. Watch this. Good. Caucasians share ninety eight percent of their DNA with chimpanzees. Here we go. Okay, now, now do it for Africans. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, we don't have Neanderthal DNA. If you want to go there, I'll bust you right down. We can talk about how your how your people and how your people introduced the A and B antigens to our bloodstream. We can talk about how you share 98% of your DNA with a chimpanzee, 87% of your DNA with a canine, 14% with a fruit fly, uh 83% with uh excuse me. Uh, uh I can listen, I will bust you down. I will bust you down genetically. I will Google ghost hominid DNA. Seriously, Google right now. What are we even right. arguing about? We're a fruit fly. What We're a like... fruit fly. Oh, Is that what we are? So, I mean, all all creatures share like half of their DNA no, anyway. No, that's that's a white people lie that y'all keep telling the world. All creatures do not share. It. Let me ask you a question right now. Let's listen. We've grown. We're not arguing. We've grown, right? What's of the course. first? What's the first thing that you learn in science class? That a species 
cannot sexually reproduce with the organism outside its own species. This is a fact, right? Can we agree on that? We can agree on that. Okay, so since we can agree on that, now you have to explain to me how did you develop the amino acids and the DNA and the proteins in your DNA of a species that you cannot sexually reproduce with? How? How did you become a Neanderthal hybrid? If you cannot sexually, right now, we go have sex with a monkey, you're not going to get that monkey pregnant. So we want to know how did you, Ryan, as a Caucasian, inherit chimpanzee DNA when you cannot sexually reproduce? Well, they, they were close enough. Neanderthals and pr- uh, primitive humans were close enough. Same way a white man and a black person can have a baby. It's like they're close. Oh, that's not true. They're close. To- Let me stop you again. Let me stop you again. Let me stop you again. White and black people cannot naturally reproduce. Go ask any doctor. You can smile all you want. Let me, let what? me, wait, let me send you to the hospital. Let me educate you. Go to the hospital right now with any interracial couple, and they're going to tell you that they have to get a Rogam shot. And what the Rogam shot does is it tells the mother's immune system not to terminate the fetus because the immune system identifies the fetus as a foreign species because these are two separate species of people trying to sexually reproduce. This is a fact. It's called hemolytic disease and red yeah, blood. That, yeah, there and, are problems. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay. I agree. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> we to ask ourselves. Where's she going to sign We cannot sexually reproduce at all without our bodies trying to terminate the baby on its own. We are not the same species. That don't mean we got to fight. But we got a question. We got to start asking ourselves, where the fuck did we really come from? And who the fuck are y'all? And so my main question, we got to start asking ourselves, where the fuck did we really come from? And who the fuck are y'all? And so my main thing when it comes to uh, this situation is all I'm saying is this. I don't believe in the Bible. I don't believe in the God you're trying to tell me to believe in. So outside of that God, all I want white people to do is tell me who they are and where they came from. Who are you, Ryan, and where did you come from? Can you tell me that right now without using the Bible? Well, yes, my family evolved. My ancestors came from the steppe. They were conquerors. They conquered across the, uh, the European How continent. Planet, Ryan? How did they get on the planet? Let's get right, to, let's not play games. How did the first white person get on the planet? They were apex predators and still are. They uh, they evolved. They moved out from Africa. No, they didn't. No, you did not. No, you did not. You can't even go to Africa right now. And Israel got the second highest skin cancer rate in the world. So then why do we? How do we conquer it? Last two centuries ago, how listen, do we conquer the entire continent? You did not listen. This uh, what you're doing right now is you're attempting to get a rise out of me because you're falsely insinuating that your people conquered my people. But I'm not going to fall for that booby trap, and I'm going to stay on point. And I'm going to ask you one more time. I'm gonna ask you one more time, cause Ryan, you know that's you. I beat you up, so you know you didn't conquer. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen the movie Zulu? Oh, let's no. Be on point. How did you? Low impulse. How did, where did your ancestors come from, Ryan? Where did your ancestors come from? Can you answer the step. Come? The step. What animal? What animal? And where did that animal come from? Since you evolved from an animal. Well, I would say primitive hominids. Okay. Who taught you how to read and write? Where did, where did you get that? My, mo- my mother. Who taught you? And my mother? father. Who the first? Let's be serious. And listen, if you want to have a serious conversation. No, I'm, I, you, I, you asked literally who taught me how to read and write. White people. Who taught yes. white people how to walk, talk, write, read, cook, bathe, season their food? Who taught y'all math? Who taught y'all science? And who created y'all? White people. White people. And who taught black people to read and cook and do science and all that? Listen here. Listen here. I'm going to say Show this. me white people. <laughs> I'm going to say this. Let me see. Andy, you weren't in this conversation this whole time. I'm just fucking around. Ah, he I'm, just, I'm just fucking around. I'm just fucking around. No. <laughs> not ad-lib and jump because I'm talking to Ryan. That's fair. Okay. Okay. I'm talking to Ryan in all seriousness. You know that according to the Australian Research Center for Ancient DNA, that Caucasian genes are no more than 6,000 years old. And I hope that you also know, because if I'm not mistaken, I believe you have blue eyes. You can correct me if I'm wrong. They're green, but, but close enough. Okay, so also, since we talk Mine about are blue, blue eyes, by the way. So since we're talking about blue eyes, blue eyes is also a genetic defect 
from ancestral reading. So the reason I'm bringing this up is because you still have not definitively, outside of being sarcastic, told me where your people come from ancestrally. Now you are assuming that you evolved. You have not proved it. That's the point I'm trying to make. You're telling me something that you are giving me no evidence of. So all I'm saying is this. Genetics proves there were no white people on the planet before 6,000 years old. Genetics also proves that you contain antigens and proteins from animal species that you should not naturally be able to sexually reproduce with. So who you are has still not been identified to be properly. Now, you, now, what you're going to try to do as a white person is you're going to try to say God created us all equal. Obviously, that's not true. So when I, I agree. That, I actually agree with that. So when, <laughs> I that. so when I scrap that and I ask you, show me scientifically and, histo and, and match it with history where you come from, you cannot do that. And that is the point I'm trying to make. And, and I'm going to end here. And Honestly, then, I feel like we agree on, on so many things. I, 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 feel, I see myself in you like so much of what you're saying like resonates with what i believe just like we're coming from a different perspective you know i'm gonna keep it, i'm gonna get right to it do you i don't even want to say do you believe do you understand that extraterrestrials exist i mean i, <laughs> I don't necessarily believe in aliens but okay now i'm gonna I'm bring i'm gonna bring this up right people are waiting for a savior whether it's jesus whoever technically they're waiting on an alien i'm gonna tell you how if you waiting on somebody to come out of the sky and come into this planet, that's called an extraterrestrial because they got to come from outside the atmosphere, inside the planet. Then you waiting on the savior to come with chariot. If I ask the average Catholic, Christian, or Muslim, or whatever, the, the average monotheistic subscriber, what is the material that the chariots that your savior are going to be coming back on? They're going to say, I don't know, which means technically that's an unidentified flying object. So... People say they don't believe in extraterrestrials, but you waiting on an entity to come from outer space on an unidentified object you've never seen and take you to a place that you've never been. So my point is this. Somebody's telling the truth and somebody's lying. Somebody's real and somebody's not. And I got a hunch that I'm on the right motherfucking track. And I know who's, and I know who's on the planet Earth lying to everybody about who the fuck they say they are. And with that being said, and who, who? who is it? My just says if you haven't watched the episode that I have started um, getting to know ourselves as the melanated uh, kings and queens, you can check out the playlist, all right, and um, you're going to begin to watch those episodes, all right? Now, it's just similar to what we will be diving into in those episodes, what we'll be diving into, what will be unfolding as the episode progresses about who we are. Now, if you watch the initial one, I had already talked about um, who are the Naitha beings and our connection to nature, our connection to creation, because we we came with creation. All right, we didn't just evolve from some animals, some insects, some whatever, so from organism. It's their story. That's their history. We have a connection. We came from the line of gods. We are gods, Your Majesties, and. The beings that will come in the sky is not no is no Jesus or no what have you coming in the sky with chariots. It's the Anunnaki. Alright? Our elder brothers and sisters who will be coming and they are already in our midst. They are already here. Behold, the kingdom is upon you, your majesties. It's not it's, there's there's no there's nobody coming back to say, okay, um mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm the God, I'm that Jesus, I'm coming this. Because of course, like he said, Christians, Muslim, and others are waiting for someone to come. Because I believe that a being will come and that will be the end of time. A being will come to liberate, a being will come to give information. A being will, they are here, the Anunnaki. They have been coming. Alright? And those who know, know. Alright, it says... Um, while the video was progressing, I went through to check this uh, program short because I, <laughs> your majesty, we don't need to take these things off because, uh, of course, there's no point for us, all right? But they have to. Look at it, it says, a rogam is a shot given to pregnant people whose blood is negative for racist factor, for racist factor protein, but who is carrying 
an RH positive fetus. What concern the melanated king and queen when, when they are pregnant to go take this? No. The, the, the truth is out there, it's glaring. All right? Because the, the mother knows what is in her. You know, she knows this is not a foreign factor. So the, the, the sister wouldn't flush it out. But when it becomes a foreign, a foreign, uh, uh, what have you in there, the sister will say, no, I don't know this thing. I have to, 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 to throw this thing away. Because it's not part of me. I'm not going to accept this. The system pushes it out through miscarriage. And there are other ladies who have taken this short. But they don't, they don't want to specify. They just say women. But they know, we know, we know. We know it's not generally. All right. We need to embark on this journey. A whole lot of things are out there. A whole lot of forces are out there to bring us down. Like I said in the first ep the other episode, that those who have devoted themselves, their time, to make you know who you are, how powerful you are, they either label them with one crime or the other. Some are lying in prison today. They're, they're trying to suppress them. Why are they trying so hard if nothing is there as truth in the sayings of these people? I leave you to think about this. If you haven't watched the beginning, the first uh, video on the episode of Knowing Ourselves as Melanated Kings and Queens, Nine Ether Beings, you can check out the playlist and begin to watch. I'll see you in my next one. Until then, love yourself, love others. Stay safe, stay positive. Always your majesty. Bye for now.